Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie. And we're at my home. So today, we're going to do a review of the new Connected Alarm Panel Pro. So this is uh, the latest version of the Connected Panel. Now we've done a few reviews on these before. We've actually been working with Nate since he did his Kickstarter project a few years ago. So this will be the third uh, one of his boards that we actually review. And uh, he nicely sent us this so we could check it out. So Mark, why don't you open it up? All right. So, uh, oh, look at that on the back. See, there's a little sticker on the back. This is really important. Not a fire or life safety device for home automation and convenience use only. This product not suitable for life safety critical applications. And that's important because what this panel is all about is taking your wired window and door sensors and be able to have them show up on your phone, right? Instead of an alarm panel. Alrighty, let's take a look what's in the box. All right, put that there. So this is the new Connected Pro panel. And if you have seen the previous ones, they're about half the size of this. And the reason why is, instead of six zones to control in your, your system, you can now control 12 zones at the same time. So instead of having to buy two boards, you can just buy one. And um, it's really nice because it's, this is for taking, if you have wired windows and door sensors, for example, in your house, you can connect it up. And that's what we did when we first started this project. It was nice because we had never connected our wired window door sensors. And so we got Nate's board, we thought it was a really cool idea, and we wired them up, and now it talks to smart things. So it's kind of neat because we can see it on our phone. So that's kind of the, the big thing is the 12 zones. I think that's pretty exciting. But there's a few more things that are exciting. One, you can plug it into a power supply, which is that one there. So that's just a standard power supply. You plug it in, and you can use the board, and you can set it up with Wi-Fi. So no problem. It works out really well. But the nice thing about the board is it handles... Ethernet. So instead of using Wi-Fi, if you can connect this directly to your router through your Ethernet cable, not only will it work over Ethernet, but if you have to have power over Ethernet uh, available, you don't need to plug in the power supply. It, it gets its power from the Ethernet cable. But That's you have neat. to have a power over Ethernet switch or router to be able to do that, right? And we actually have it, so we're going to go and show both working with Wi-Fi as well as working with power over ethernet so that should be pretty cool is so that's, the ethernet faster than the wi-fi i don't think speed matters here because mm. it's really just the, the window open or close I don't okay. think that matters it's probably faster but that's not the, really the game changer the game changer is the fact that you can use power over ethernet which means i don't have to have yet another power yet adapter. another power supply plugged into that box in the closet exactly all right and it has other things if you want to hook up a siren and things like that there's other power things and Nate has great instructions on the web. We're not going to go through all that here in our review, but I would recommend looking at that and see the kind of things you can bring in and power up with these connectors over here. All right, so that's the board itself. And then they gave us an accessory This is the kit. accessory kit. So this has some cool stuff in it. And it shows, too, all the different um, platforms that it works with. It works with SmartThings, Home Assistant, Hubitat, OpenHab, HomeBridge. Ooh, never heard of that one. And it also works with MQTT. And let's see what accessories we have in here. Oh, this is cool. These are the wire labels, so you can label everything, kind of keep track of where. Yeah, that's important. You want to label everything up. It makes a big difference. Hmm. These are the labels. That looks neat. And he gives you a screwdriver kit, so you don't even have to have a screwdriver. He gives you one that uh, handles that, so that's cool. And you, by the way, you want this, his screwdriver because, you know, these screws to tighten down on the wires are really tiny. So um, it's kind of nice he supplies that. Yeah, and then he's got some jumper cables here, depending on what you're trying to hook up. Another one here. Those are kind of handy. What else has he got in there? Plastic bag. Stickers. Got to have stickers. That's Two nice. stickers. Right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Here's another little screwdriver. Oh, another thing. Look at that. This tiny little thing. It must have fallen out of the box. Let's see. I will leave it alone. Oh, now this is a piezo, bu uh, <laughs> can't say the words. This is a piezoelectric uh, buzzer. So it's a, basically a buzzer and it's got two connectors and you just hook them into this here and then this hooks into the board. So oh. then you can have a buzzer. So if someone opens a window, you can have this make a sound. Oh, it goes yeah, Our current ones, we had it set up that way. It's kind of cool. All right. And here's some little. Those are standoffs. These are really important because you're going to want to hook this on something because the back of the board has got all sorts of metal pins. You don't want it 
place it on metal or you'll short it out. But you see, you can plug these things in here. Mm -hmm. I won't snap them in yet. And these have, have uh, sticky tape on them, 3M tape. Oh, okay. And you just do that and it mounts up and sits up like that. So it's off whatever you hook it up to. Neat. So that's kind of nice. So the thing that's nice about the thing that Connected does is they give you everything you need. Right? Even the screwdriver. Even the screwdriver. In fact, what is in this one here? It's like a, all these different screwdrivers you sense. It. Let's see what we got. Oh, no, that's not a screwdriver. It's a pen. Ooh. So look, oh, there's a screwdriver a in there. With a screwdriver. Pen with a screwdriver. See, there you go. Screwdriver. Candy. Phillips in, in flat. And then over here is a pen. Cool. So he, so everything is in here. <laughs> it makes it real easy. So, even um, the pen to label it. Even the pen wires. to label it. All right. So that's it. That's what's in the box. It's every, well, you can take out the power supply. Oh, let's look at the power supply. It probably looks so different than any other power supply you've ever seen. Ta-da! That's it. So, let's see, it's a big power supply. This is why power over Ethernet is nice because you don't have to have, have one of these plugged in yet again somewhere. So, But that's it. That's the connected board and I'll go install it. The connected pro board. The connected pro board with 12 zones, not six. So, all right. All right, so Mark's gonna go ahead and install it and show you how it works. In our home, we only have wired window sensors. But you can connect door sensors, sirens, motion sensors, and more to the connected board. The connected I.O. page has all the details. We recommend you read through the documentation before setting up. Now, we will show you how we set up the connected alarm panel pro board with SmartThings. If you had an alarm panel, make sure you label the wires before you remove them. If you are like us and never had wires connected to an alarm panel, you will need to figure out which wires go to which window. First thing we did was label the wires coming from the window sensors. There are two wires per window sensor. Order doesn't matter. We ended up grouping one wire from each sensor as the G or ground wire and label the other wire as the specific window zone. Now all you need to do is connect each zone to a corresponding screw on the terminal block from 1 to 12. There are G terminals for the ground wires. You can connect the piezo buzzer to the board using the ground and out one terminals just below the 12 volt power connection. Before you power up the board, you will need to download the connected app from the App Store. There are three ways to connect and power the Pro board to the internet, Wi-Fi or Ethernet using the 12 volt power brick or Ethernet using power over Ethernet. If you're using Wi-Fi, you will need to tell the connected app what your router's SSID and network password are. If you decide Ethernet when you power up the board, it will get an IP address from your router. Once you have set up the pro's networking, you select the board in the app and register it to the connected cloud. If you don't have an account, you can do that now. Then set up the zones using Manage Zones. Use the plus to add each zone. Enter the zone number and the zone type. There are several types. We used window. Enter the zone name. Then save. Alexa discovers each zone as you add them. You can use them in Alexa routines. Enter the plus again for the next zone and so forth. For the piezo buzzer, you select out one as the zone and momentary switch as the type, and enter a zone name. You then need to set up the timing. Set duration to 24 and pause to 54 with a repeat of 6 for a single pleasant tone, but this only does it for a second or so before shutting off. We used a variation of the default recommended a minus 1 because we wanted the buzzer to play until we turned it off. Then save. Note, the piezo buzzer is noticed by Alexa. Once you have all your zones defined, you sync to device. The board will then reboot, give it 20 or 30 seconds to complete. Next, we need to pair the connected zones with the SmartThings app. Just use the plus button and look for connected in the device list. Click it, and then other, and finally connected. You enter a room to put them in. We have a room called parking lot where we put them since we need to add them to different rooms. When you click next, you get a success screen showing all your zone names. Click done. 
Those zones should now be in the parking lot. Then just move them to the proper rooms. You will need to select the zones in the SmartThings home monitor individually for arm away and arm stay. Select security and then the gear icon and then security again. Then set up the away sensors. You have a choice to monitor all open closed sensors or use the use all wording and select only the zones you want to monitor. Then press done. Now repeat for the stay sensors. Go back to the home screen and turn on arm away or stay to monitor for intrusions. Using smart lighting in smart apps, you can create a routine to take action when a window opens. Select new lighting automation, Select your piezo alarm as a device to control and the action, in this case, turn on. Select open close as the trigger and select any of the zones you want to monitor. Then select turn on when opened. For when to turn it off, we selected one minute, then saved it. Okay, let's try this out. First, we arm the SmartThings security monitor. Notice the SmartThings app shows all four breakfast room windows closed. Open a window, the buzzer sounds, SmartThings shows open. Breakfast window is open. Alexa notifies, and the security monitor shows an intrusion. When we close the window, SmartThings shows the window closed, though the intrusion alert won't go away until you dismiss it. That's it. You now have your zones reporting to the SmartThings app and Alexa. Thanks for watching our video today. We've included more information about the product, including the links where to buy in the description box below. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you can find out the next time we do a new video. And for more smart home stories, visit appmyhome.com. Thank you. Thank you.